Protein is a macronutrient that is essential to building muscle mass. It is commonly found in animal products, though is also present in other sources, such as nuts and legumes. There are three macronutrients, protein, fats and carbohydrates. Macronutrients provide calories, or energy. Each gram of protein contains four calories. Protein makes up about 15% of a person's body weight. Chemically, protein is composed of amino acids, which are organic compounds made of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen or sulfur. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins, and proteins are the building blocks of The Nile River is considered to be the longest river in the world. Lake Victoria is considered to be the source of the river. It flows through the Egypt, Uganda, Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Eritrea, Burundi, Sudan, and South Sudan. The Blue and the White Nile are the two tributaries of the river. Although for most of us, the Nile River is longest river in world, there is a section of scholars who regard the Amazon River as the true winner of this title. Large rivers like the Nile and Amazon have numerous sources and many large and small tributaries. The need to find the furthest source of a river is there if the true length of the river has to be calculated. Often, such sources are located in remote and inaccessible locations, rendering the discovery of For thousands of years, agricultural development was very slow. One of the earliest agricultural tools was fire. Native Americans used fire to control the growth of berry producing plants, which they knew grew quickly after a wildfire. Farmers cultivated small plots of land by hand, using axes to clear away trees and digging sticks to break up and till the soil. Over time, improved farming tools of bone, stone, bronze, and iron were developed. New methods of storage evolved. People began stockpiling foods in jars and clay lined pits for use in times of scarcity. They also began making clay pots and other vessels for Child labor occurs when children are forced to take up work at an age they need to study and enjoy the phase of innocence. Child labor leads to the loss of childhood and escalates the exploitation of children in various forms. India faces situations where children are forced to work under adverse conditions. Despite laws against child labor, Many children remain exploited as cheap laborers the authorities are unable to implement. Oceans are the lifeblood of planet Earth and mankind. The humankind depends on the marine resources for its survival. They are also essential for the economic prosperity, social well-being and quality of life. Oceans have extensive deposits of oil reserves. Besides a major fishing ground, 
it helps in generating non-conventional energy, development of many ports and harbors for trade activities. Coastal tourism also attracts people around the world, thereby contributing to the As soon as Abraham Lincoln was elected president of USA in 1860, southern states like Carolina, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana and Texas separated from the Union. They established the Confederate States of America. When the Confederates fired on Fort Sumter, President Lincoln declared blockade of southern ports and the Civil War began in 1861. The president made a proclamation for emancipation of slaves. The war dragged on for four years and in the end the South surrendered. In January 1863, Lincoln abolished slavery. Lincoln not only fought slavery but also fought for the preservation of the Union. The seceding states were treated as rebels. This won the sympathy of foreign powers especially Great Britain. He fought a war too. Antonio is a wealthy merchant in the city of Venice. He is a leading citizen, commanding great respect. When he is first introduced to us in the play, he is in a melancholy mood. His friends ask him if he is feeling melancholy because all his ships are at sea, facing all sorts of dangers from storms and from rocks, but he tells them that he is not at all feeling worried about the safety of his ships. He then tells them that his melancholy is something natural to him, something temperamental or inborn. He says that he looks upon this world as the stage of a theater on which every man has to play a part, his own part being that of a sad man. Thus melancholy may be regarded as Without school uniforms, the potential for children to tease and make fun of one another is increased. People use clothing to express themselves, children are no different in this regard. Sadly, when a child expresses themselves in a different way to everyone else, it can create a point of difference between one child and another. Again, these differences can be amplified by socio-economic disparities between one child's family and another. Rather than build a sense of community and equality with a school uniform, allowing children to wear what they like can. A renewable resource is one that can be used repeatedly and does not run out because it is naturally replaced. A renewable resource, essentially, has an endless supply such as solar energy, wind energy, and geothermal pressure. Other resources are considered renewable even though some time or effort must go into their renewal, for example, wood, oxygen, leather, and fish. Most precious metals are renewable also. Although precious metals are not naturally replaced, they can be recycled.
The environmental conditions in poultry houses are a key factor in the growth of the birds. We cannot expect unhealthy birds to grow as per standard. Importantly hatch chick cannot maintain a proper body temperature without help. Hence monitoring key parameter and that on a real-time basis is important. There is increasing concern in the poultry industry with regard to high ambient temperatures. This concern may be attributed to rapid development of the industry with climate change and also to reduced performance and increased mortality of poultry specifically during summer. They resort to panting as temperatures increase which increased metabolic rate and evaporative cooling. Body temperatures must remain close to 41 degrees centigrade, an increase beyond the regulated adverse results. Thereby the birds. Carpenter bees bore through soft woods to lay eggs and protect their larvae as they develop. Female carpenter bees will chew a tunnel into a piece of wood to build a nest gallery. The bits of wood she chews and deposits outside the nest are called frass. The tunnel openings usually look about 1 or 2 inches deep, but they can be up to 10 feet long. These tunnels usually have several rooms where the bees hold their eggs and food. Also, they are used for pollination. Carpenter bees do not pose a public health threat, but they can do cosmetic damage to the wood where they build their nests. Carpenter bees are beneficial because Today we use a place value system in Indo-Arabic numerals, 0 to 9, for calculations. The Romans utilized number symbols like I, V, X, L, C, D, M. They had no sign for zero and no negative numbers. Therefore there is no year zero. Experts are still wondering how the Romans calculated with their number system. No document is known that describes its handling. Dealing with their numerals is considered difficult. However, it is unbelievable that the Roman engineers constructed great buildings and that the merchants did a lot of trading without being able to. Bullocks are the backbone of Indian agriculture. Despite lot of advancements in the use of mechanical power in Indian agricultural operations, the Indian farmer especially in rural areas still depend upon bullocks for various agricultural operations. The bullocks are saving a lot on fuel which is a necessary input for using mechanical power like tractors, combine harvesters etc. pack animals like camels, horses. Donkeys, ponies, mules etc., are being extensively used to transport goods in different parts of the country in addition to bullocks. In situations like hilly terrains mules and ponies serve as the only alternative to transport goods. Similarly, the army has to depend upon these animals to transport various items in. It is energy and when you add energy to any system changes occur. Because all systems in the global climate system are connected, 
Adding heat energy causes the global climate as a whole to change. Much of the world is covered with ocean which heats up. When the ocean heats up, more water evaporates into clouds. Where storms like hurricanes and typhoons are forming, the result is more energy-intensive storms. A warmer atmosphere makes glaciers and mountain snowpacks, the polar ice cap, and the great ice shield jutting off of Antarctica melt. Manufacturing a product sooner than required, or in higher quantities than needed, wastes time, labor, and materials. The solution to overcome waste is to balance volume and value by carefully calibrating plans and processes so that production syncs with inventory needs. It's not a matter of how much you output, it's whether that output is available, accessible and acceptable when and where it's needed. That's where the value is measured. There's nothing productive about producing too much. Lean manufacturing means creating. One of the most important aspects of any process improvement effort is rolling out proven changes to everyone it can help. Standardized processes are critical for ensuring that everyone is doing tasks in the most efficient way possible. Once a new process is rolled out to the entire team, it is time to begin the process improvement efforts once again. By making sure everyone is following the latest proven strategies the entire organization is going to always be operating as efficiently as possible. Using this strategy, it is also a good idea to allow everyone to contribute to the improvement of existing processes. Each team member can attempt to do things in a way that they believe will be better than before. If it can be shown that it does indeed eliminate waste or improve productivity, it will be accepted and adopted by everyone. Over time, this form of constant process improvement Incidents are generally categorized by low, medium and high priorities. Low priority incidents do not interrupt end users, who typically can complete work despite the issue. Medium priority incidents are issues that affect end users, but the disruption is either slight or brief. High priority incidents, however, are issues that will affect large amounts of end users and prevent the proper functioning of a system. Incidents are classed as hardware, software or security, although a performance issue can often result from any combination of these areas. Software incidents typically include service availability problems or application bugs. Hardware incidents typically include downed or limited resources network issues or other system outages. Security incidents encompass attempted and active threats intended to compromise or breach data. Unauthorized access to personally identifiable records is a
Artificial intelligence algorithms are designed to make decisions, often using real-time data. They are unlike passive machines that are capable only of mechanical or predetermined responses. Using sensors, digital data, or remote inputs, they combine information from a variety of different sources, analyze the material instantly, and act on the insights derived from those data. As such, they are designed by humans with intentionally and reach conclusions based on their Less than 50 years ago plastic bags were a rarity. Now you it seems like you can't buy anything without it being carried out in a branded plastic bag. If we can understand how we got ourselves here, maybe we can find a way to get ourselves out. Polyethylene was first created in 1898 but it was not until the mid-1950s that a high-density polyethylene was invented. High-density polyethylene was the breakthrough that enabled the production of cheap, yet strong plastic bags. This seemingly simple invention changed the way we shop and had unimaginable consequences for our natural environment. Disposable plastic bags became so popular so fast mainly because of their convenience. Before plastic bags, there was paper. Paper bags worked but they were not easy to carry and they weren't nearly as strong as plastic. The most important part is, paper was more expensive to produce than plastic. The plastic bag not only made life easier for the consumer, it also saved retailers money. Although we see the downsides of plastic bags today, you can see. Checking your body's temperature with a thermometer is an easy way to see if a fever is present. A fever, which is a rise in the body's temperature, is usually caused by an infection. Though fevers can be uncomfortable, they are a sign that the body is fighting off infection. There are many different types of thermometers you can use to measure temperature. When using any kind of thermometer, make sure you read and follow the instructions that come with the thermometer. If your thermometer uses batteries, check them. You might notice that weak batteries, 